guys back again do a quick video on this this is a bleep mushroom you can see it has pores under the cap not gills and a general rule with bleats and I've said it before in another video usually the poisonous or the bitter ones the pores will stain blue or really dark almost blackish blue color which these aren't and I don't know exactly what species these are but I'm pretty sure it's one of two which are edible I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because I'll butcher it but this is in the Tylopilus family of Belites of what I'm looking up online it, it almost I'm almost 100% sure that's what this family of Belites is because it does not stain blue and it's brown. Now I believe these are white when they're very young. The pores are white. And this one's fairly small but you can see how... Now when I first picked these in the woods they weren't this dark of a brown color. Which you can kind of see on that, that one there. It's kind of like a... Yeah, like a creamy brown color. This one's getting a little bit darker. And when I touch them, they do bruise brown after a while. And get a better look at the stem or the stipe, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Again, pores under the cap, not gills. It's fairly smooth and kind of wrinkly on the cap on this one. But let me show you guys what it looks like inside. I've already broke one in half. And it's pure white. This one, at least this one anyhow. I'm trying to get this. Mind the wind, guys. I'm really sorry about the wind. It's really windy here today. This is the inside of the bleat split in half. It's pure white. Spongy. You can see that green, or green, the brown part of the the pores right there. If my camera will focus, here, let's. It's not going to focus on me. All right, whatever. But yeah, I'm doing a spore print on this and on. The ringless honey mushroom, which I just did a video on, just to give myself a better ID. I'm pretty sure this is one of two. Uh, one of the species in this family is bitter, and I have tasted, did a little nibble test on it, and it wasn't bitter, so that narrows it down of one of two things, other ones, and I'll put that in the description for you guys in case you're curious, but not poisonous not bitter on those them two are edible basically almost the same thing I'm kinda curious of what it tastes like when I cook it up I'm fairly confident one of two I'll put it in the description again at first I was thinking one of three things when I did research on it on the internet uh, but I kinda narrowed the first one out because they said it tastes very bitter, and this doesn't. I did a little nibble test. Uh, just take a little piece, taste it, and spit it out. Look at the ant. There's bugs. That's the problem with bolites. They're so hard to ID. There's so many of them. They get bug infested. Look at the bug. I don't know if you guys can see that bug. <laughs> He's nibbling away. Yep, there he is. You can see him now. That little black speck right there is a little probably a little worm or a little bug in there and that's common for these guys they get really really bug infested but yeah check it out see I pulled the stem out of there so I could show you guys what the inside looks it's really white and really spongy and I found these I believe they were oak trees uh, in the shade and they're growing everywhere. I'd like to find them uh, in a younger smaller stage because I've read they taste better 
if it is one of two, I'm pretty sure it's one of two things. Both are edible. Again, I don't recommend doing what I'm doing. Make sure first, guys. Be safe. Don't take my video with 100% and say, Oh, look, it looks like the one Walt did. Now I'm going to eat it. Don't do that. Make sure you know your ID and do a spore print. Have, have a really good book. Do your research. Consult an expert mycologist. I've been doing this for six years now, so I have a slew of websites and books and everything else, and I'm doing a spore print on them, and we'll take it from there. But yeah, pretty cool. Let's give it a better angle on that guy. Please focus. Focus, please. Focus. It 